Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. As always, we will wait just a little bit to see uh, when everyone uh, gets the notification and is able to join in. I just received a notification from Facebook that we are live, so I'm hoping that we will soon get a notification from uh, YouTube letting us know that we are live. Hello, Gina. Hello, Candy. Hello, Kathy. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Spring is in the air, it definitely feels like. Hello, Penny. Hi, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Yes, today is a very exciting day uh, because our YouTube is having trouble. Uh, Gina, Candy, Kathy, Penny, Annie, all whom I see are on YouTube. Are you able to see me? Are you able to hear me? Are we okay on your end? Hi, Nikki. We're good? Okay. So, today, I'm very, very happy to announce that the stick and stamp mat is back in stock. Uh, and if you have been waiting ever so patiently, uh, I can tell you that I haven't been patient. <laughs> I've been, I have been hoping and praying every single day that it would get here sooner than it would. Uh, we had an anticipated stock uh, restock date uh, of mid March, and now here we are on the very tail end of March, and we just got them back. So um, I will let you know that within the first first 15 minutes 15 minutes not 15 hours uh 15 minutes uh 500 of these have already gone so fortunately uh we do have uh plenty we have i mean we we ordered double of you know what we ordered last time but uh i do not anticipate uh that these are um going to stay in stock long now we will have another reorder so don't worry uh but i am just saying to all of you because i don't want to um i don't want anyone to miss out on it this time around uh and uh think that we have an unlimited supply we do not have an unlimited supply i thought we had an unlimited supply the first time we brought it in and uh that was gone uh in record time i mean they were gone within a week so uh, although we do have double this time, uh, I cannot make any promises that it's going to stay around for a long time. <laughs> there's just, there's, there's no way for me to promise uh, that this will be around for a long time, but I'm excited. Hello, Tisha. Hello, Kelly. I'm excited that now, since this has come back, this now has a baby sister or brother, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. And this is the brand new Stick and Stamp Pigment Palette. Now, this is a very special tool that is going to coincide with your Stick and Stamp mat. Uh, I know I've said this before, and I'll probably say it a million times. I am so fortunate to work with the most talented people in this industry. And those most talented people in this industry aren't necessarily the people, you know, that are, you know, outside of the company. But they are my staff, and they are so talented brilliant in figuring things out and, and their minds work just as quickly as mine do, which is, is why they're part of the Brutus Monroe team. And Michael came into my office one day. Most of you all know our dear sweet Michael. He is the director of retail operations here at Brutus Monroe. And he came into my office and he went over to my big marker board, big whiteboard that I have in my office, and he started sketching. And as he was sketching, he was drawing boxes and circles and, and all these different things and measurements. And, you know, he grabbed my ruler off my desk and I could see the wheels working at 3,000 miles an hour. And uh, nothing excites us more at Brutus Monroe than wheels going at 3,000 miles an hour. But he was going through and he had this vision for an add-on for the stick and stamp mat that would make water coloring so much simpler. And uh, this concept comes from the idea of a watercolor panel. Now, we do sell the pre-printed watercolor panels. These happen to be the fall version. Um, and these are actually, I think these are on sale right now. This is what we're going to use today. This is what I'm going to demo with today. 
But these, uh, when you are watercoloring, and I'm sure you've seen tons and tons of your favorite YouTubers and favorite Instagram reelers and favorite Facebook livers uh, using uh, watercolor panels that they've either stamped or they're pre-printed. And what they do is they tape them down to a board within an inch of their life. And that's great, that's fine, that's fantastic. If that's you know what you wanna do, that's absolutely what you can do. But with the stick and stamp mat, we have the ability to stick the entire thing down while we're watercoloring and it not budge or move at all. So if you're able to wait, now I would suggest, and I've seen quite a few of you already today, purchase multiple of these. Um, oh good, you're in, Shauna, good, good, good. So, or Shanna, is it Shanna or Shauna? Um, now you have the ability to get a couple of these. So what I would suggest, because you know now's the time to grab a couple, get yourself one for when you're stenciling, get yourself one for when you're stamping, and get yourself one for while you're watercoloring. Because I'm gonna show you this trick, and this trick using the new palette is, is incredible because you can leave your project on here while it is drying, and when you peel it up, there won't be any wrinkles, any creases, any bubbles, any anything, because it's gonna stick completely to your stick and stamp mat. So let's head down to the table and let's take a look. And I'm super, super, super excited to be able to share all of this with you today. So first and foremost, we have the stick and stamp mat. I'm gonna open up this new one. We have so many of these floating around the office now uh, that we've been using that I, um, everywhere you look, there's a stick and stamp mat, which is, which is awesome. So if this is the first time you're seeing the stick and stamp mat, let me in reintroduce everyone or introduce everyone to the stick and stamp mat from Brutus Monroe. So what this mat is, is this is a, uh, a sticky mat essentially that you can utilize for all sorts of different things in your craft room. You can use it for lining up letters. You can use it for stenciling. It fits perfectly in your Misty stamping tool. So I have one that stays in my Misty stamping tool all the time. You stick your paper down to it or you stick whatever down to it. You can see it's very sticky. Uh, and you can stamp, you know, big background stamps. You can stamp whatever you would like to it. But today I'm going to show you how to use it to watercolor. So what you'll do is you'll take your stick and stamp mat and you're going to, you know, take off the, there's a protective clear cover that is on the top. You'll want to set that somewhere where you'll remember where it is because when you set it on the table, it instantly will become invisible <laughs> and you won't be able to find it. And then you're going to take this new accessory for the stick and stamp mat and you're going to place it right up here at the top. You'll notice that it fits ever so perfectly right on your stick and stamp mat. Okay, so now your stick and stamp mat has become a watercolor palette or an alcohol ink palette. So I'm gonna just place it again because you know my, my OCD, I need to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. There we go. And then you can take any watercolor panel, any watercolor panel that you would like, hi Kara, and you can place it down below. Now this particular pack is great because it has a couple of different variations. So I'm gonna show you here, oh, and don't stick everything to your stick and stamp mat. So there are two different variations here of these watercolor panels. So we have the ones that are in this, uh, this orientation, and then we have this orientation. So you can either stick your, uh, your little piece right here, which is you know what you would do if you have one that is this in this direction, but I'm gonna show you today, well, no, let's actually do the pumpkins, why not? But just real quick, so you can see, if you are using one that is vertical like this, you would just stick it on and then you just flip your palette around, okay? So that makes it very simple. High seal, very, very easy. But we'll do the pumpkins today because, you know, why not? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this wherever I want. Again, if you do not um, suffer from making sure everything is perfectly lined up, you can do it however you would like. But now you can see that's not going anywhere. I can move this within an inch of its life and this is not going to budge or move. But the beauty of this palette is it is completely encapsulated in a double lamination. So what that means is I've seen tons and tons and tons of folks that will make palettes with like a laminator and that's all well and great. This guy is made to withstand liquids on it. 
Regular lamination I have seen where it can bubble, I have seen where it can break down over time. This was created for that purpose. Like whenever you use this, you'll you'll notice that this is a very thick, I don't know if you can see, almost the same thickness. Yes, she's thick. Almost the same thickness of the stick and stamp mat. Now I will tell you that the testing that was done with this palette and different pigments was rigorous. Michael actually placed some of our aqua pigments on this on this um uh this this is 399 this palette and the actual stick and stamp mat is 699 i believe it's 699 is it 699 i can't remember the exact price of the stick and stamp palette it's like we've it's been so long since we've had it um or 899 899 i can't remember but this palette he placed pigments our aqua pigments on it and it was on i think for 48 96 hours or something and he was able to just wipe it completely clean and there wasn't a single stain to be found. Now, what I will tell you is if you use this palette for like alcohol inks, which you can, um, the, some of some inks may stain it. There's just, you know, we, we haven't, we don't have every single ink that exists in the world on here uh, or with this palette uh, to use with this palette. So there may be some that will stain, but all you do is take your matte mist or take your squeaky clean stamp cleaner, tss, 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 wipe it down and it will be completely clean now i'm going to show you you know how that works and how you can oh hi simon and how uh you can get that uh to work but again this palette that is attached to now your stick and stamp mat is how you can watercolor now you can use aqua pigments you can use simon hurley reinkers uh you can use anything that you would use that is a liquid watercolor or you can even go in with a simon hurley ink pad or any other ink pad that you love that is water soluble and just kind of dab each of these little areas and, and add your add your color so when we're doing our pumpkins today uh, I'm going to grab I grabbed a couple of different aqua pigments from Brutus Renault we have uh, red we have brown we have yellow we have orange we have yellow green and we have just regular standard green so we have quite a few different colors here that we can use but I'm going to show you the magic of this palette so each of these circles if uh, you are like me, you like to have a home for everything whenever you're creating. So what that means is these little circles, you will notice, they have colors around them. So if you are putting down an aqua pigment, and I'll just put a couple of aqua pigments down real quick. So we have an orange here. And we'll have a, let's do the, mm, let's do some yellow. And then let's do some brown, because we'll add a little brown. Now, there is not a brown spot, but we do have three uh, of the black spots down here at the bottom, which will allow you to know, uh, to notate which one is this. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Kara. And then we have $5.99 for the second stamp mat. Oh, that's a really good price. Okay, and then we have, we'll do some green. So we'll just do standard, regular, everyday green. But the great thing is, is the greens and the blues will start to look exactly the same. So you can see this green, I don't have a blue to put down, but blue would look exactly the same. So the issue with that, anytime that it's in a palette, at least in my, uh, my experience of watercoloring, is when it's in a palette like that, I can't tell the difference between the colors because the colors will look all exactly the same because they're just dark. But having this ingenious, again, my hat is tipped to Michael and Darren, uh, Michael for the concept and Darren for actually designing it, uh, this piece around the outside will tell you which color you have put down. So you never have to guess like, oh, was that the red or was that the orange or is that the purple or is that the blue? It all has the different it has the different color waves around the ring of where your palette is, which just makes it so simple and so easy, okay? So now what you'll do, take your Brutus Renault water brush, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, because now you've all seen me watercolor before, most of you have. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to my watercolor paper. These are all printed on the Brutus Monroe aqua pigment paper which if you've used it before, I, I'm hoping you love our watercolor paper, uh, aqua pigment paper, just as much as we do. I'm just placing some of that 
water directly down onto this. And now normally, if any of you have watercolored before, which I know most of you have, because I think quite a few of you have actually watercolored with me before in classes or on lives and, and things of that nature, you'll note that when you normally add this water, this would be curling within an inch of its life, right? This paper would be like, whoosh, whoosh. you can flip the palette over and use the back to tap your blender brushes on when stenciling to keep your mat nice and clean. We will demo that too, Michael. Perfect. Thank you. We will demo that as well. Um, so as you can see here, uh, we have no curling. We have no movement. We have no blending. I mean, no... Um, no oversaturation or anything of that nature, which is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. The weight of our watercolor paper is 80 pound. It's 80 pound. All right, so now I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna start watercoloring so I can grab my orange and I'm just gonna start applying some color here. Now, of course, if you work better this way, just turn your mat. That's all you gotta do, just turn it or if you work better this way, which is how I work best, just turn it this way. And then I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna start to just add some pigment. Now, you know, my watercoloring is very loosey goosey, especially when we're working with like a pumpkin or, and I know that, you know, I was just talking about spring is in the air, but I love pumpkins all year round. Okay. And there's not a time of the year, in my opinion, that pumpkins aren't welcome. <laughs> and I'm just going to go and I'm just going to start tapping and adding color. And you can see just how beautifully um, our watercolor paper, uh, it is not 100% cotton. Uh, I believe that it is like a 90-10 of post consumables. Um, and the reason for that is 100% cotton watercolor paper is not exactly the best for the environment um, because of the way that it is manufactured. So we do we use we do a post consumable watercolor paper, uh, which is our aqua pigment paper, but it's very, very, very close. Very, very close. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of brown and I'm gonna add the brown down to the base. And then we're gonna meet everything in the middle with a little bit of yellow. And then that will be our beautiful pumpkins. Okie dokie. See you later, Trudy. Yes, the, uh, the mat has been very, very, very popular. And again, I'm just adding a little bit more color into these lower areas. And then I'm gonna meet right in the middle with some, uh, you too, Trudy, with some of the yellow. And then that should really bring everything together. And you can just kind of blend them all together And that will create just this absolutely beautiful autumnal shading on all of your pumpkins. And there we go. Doesn't that look great? All right, so now I can just take a little bit of green and just go right on into my stems. And pop that right in there. And that's what we, what is the, uh, I believe it's the fall pack. I think. Yes. Oh. 
Okay. And there we go. Doesn't that look great? What does everybody think so far? Good. Does everybody kind of understand it? Understand how it works? Good, good, good. Okay. Perfect. So now what you can do is I'm just going to take uh, just a little... And you can let this dry on here and then you can reconstitute it. But I'm just going to use this paper towel and I'm just going to soak up all of this color. Now I'm sure so many of you creative folks out there will be able to figure out a way to use this. But you can see the palette just wipes completely clean. Like it was, like it was never used. See that? Just absolutely perfectly clean. And then I'm going to take the palette off now. This palette is new. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab, uh, we can grab a little heat tool and just gently, you know, you don't want to keep this in one space on your stick and stamp mat, but we're gent just gently going to heat this. Now you can let it dry again completely on the mat if you want to. Oh, thank you, Penny. Yes, on sale for $1.50. You just want to keep your little move or moving because you do not want um, your stick and stamp mat to curl see how quickly I'm moving this you do not want you do not want to let this heat build up in one spot how many pallets could fit on the mat? Um, that's a great question. Hold on one moment, because I'm gonna remove this pa this panel. And then you can see there's no curling, no folding. Now, obviously this is not completely dry, so that's just saturation, but look how flat that panel is. I mean, it's completely flat completely flat isn't that amazing i just love that okay perfect 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 okay hold on i'm gonna start trying to catch up is the sticky mat cleaner different than your stamp cleaner? Seal, it does not have as, it's, it's, it has a much lighter detergent in it. So as most of you know, we make all of our squeaky clean right here at Brutus Monroe. Uh, and that makes it very, very easy for us to, um, to control the level of detergents or cleaners or, you know, what is utilized in our different types of, uh, different types of cleaners. So with that being said, this, uh, I am using the Ranger heat tool. Yep. The, the matte mist, which, uh, I just, you know, I ha happen to have one right here. It smells delicious. It smells like hydrangeas. Um, that we just missed over top and it, it's very gentle with the adhesive that's on here. So it's much less abrasive. Uh, you just want to gently, oh yes. Like what Michael said, you want to gently wipe your mat. Okay. So now let's talk about what Michael was talking about with blending your paper. So what you could do is you take your palette. Now you could see the Brutus Monroe is on this side um, and just, you know, fun with the branding. And as you can see here, it matches up with the pattern on the outside because, you know, that's just how things, how we do things here at Brutus Monroe. And now what you could do is take your regular everyday card panel butt it right up against your uh, piece here, okay? And then you can take a stencil, if you would like. Now this is just a random stencil, and there's still some adhesive around the outside, 
So you just push this down. And now, like Michael said, this now protects your sticky map, okay? So since we have that protection now, I can take a Simon Hurley ink pad. Let me find one here. Um, let's do let's do clear skies. And I'm going to take this fun little gadget here, which we also keep stocked at Brutus Monroe. And this is the um, this is the ink pad, ink stand, ink stand, ink stand. So I'm going to just grab some of this and now look tap 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 and we can go in and blend tap 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 go in and blend and now you have a surface now there's all sorts of ink that's still on this stencil so it's not it's going to look kind of poopy uh, but tap 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 and then you can still go back in grab some more of that ink once it builds up on there tap 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 grab yourself some more ink from right here blend 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 tap 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 and that will keep your your stick and stamp mat very clean see tap 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 and then and i'm sure that you'll think of about 10 million different ways that you can use this this little guy here but you could also so you can see i'll peel this off and that stenciling i mean it's the most beautiful stenciling ever we're going to pull this guy off of here now, what you can do is use this to the side too. You don't have to use it. You don't, you sh it sure can, Gina, we can try that too. You don't have to use this on the mat. So if you wanna use, so remember, what you'll do is you'll kinda curl your mat to peel off your paper. And you know, if it's a very thin paper, you wanna make sure you're, you're doing a little curl, but you can see there's very little uh, bending and folding. But for ink smooshing, you could take this you could take yourself a one of our jumbo media tags grab a couple of aqua pigments uh, we'll do some we'll do some yellow green a couple of drops grab a little bit of brown and this is just going to be kind of a avant-garde smooshing okay and then grab a little bit of yellow okay and then what i do when i ink smoosh is i kind of move things around a little bit and then i'm going to take our tag and i'm just going to place it right on top of here like so now I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds because you know you wanna make sure that this really has time to kind of soak into whatever you are ink smooshing on. But the, whoops, and I moved it. Hold on, we should be okay though. And the great thing about our tags, the uh, Jumbo Media tags is the, the paper they're made out of. So same paper as our, uh, the same uh, thickness as our Not Your Mama's cardstock. And these can take quite a beating. So you'll see that it's starting to curl now because I've put a ton of aqua pigment on it. But now we can lift it and you can see just how cool that is. So we just did a really cool ink smooshing. I'm gonna go in now and I'm gonna heat this up. Now I'm gonna show you a cool trick with aqua pigments that you might not know that you can do. And I'm not worried about this. This is going to be fine. We can go ahead and we can remove all of that pigment right after. The only thing that you do not want to do with your pigment palette, stick and stamp pigment palette, is you do not, do not, do not, do not, do not want to submerge it completely in water. You do not want to do that. You do not want to take this palette and completely put it underwater. You don't want to do that. You, you want to make sure that it does not go um completely underwater in your sink you want to wipe it clean okay and there you go looks great use your matte mist and go to town but do not completely submerge it all right now Let's go ahead and I think this is almost completely dry, but 
with aqua pigments very similar to a lot of the other inks that are out there on the market they are water reactive so you can take some water and place it on top like so just using this little fancy distress sprayer let that sit on top of there for just a couple of seconds Okay. And then you're going to take your paper towel or whatever you would like, dab that on top. And look, do you see how those droplets have pulled? Isn't that cool? Isn't that amazing? So just another cool thing. Just another another little cool add-on thing. Okay? So I'm going to head back to the front camera. Does anybody have any questions right now about the Stick and Stamp mat? Any questions about the new add-on palette? Any questions at all? Uh, before I go help and start packing all of these <laughs> that all of you are ordering. We are uh, so incredibly fortunate and uh, thankful uh, that you are loving the Stick and Stamp mat as well as the palette uh, as much as we are, as well as, of course, the, the spray. It's very exciting. So uh, that is everything that I have for you all today. If you don't have any questions for me, I'll wait a couple more moments. Okay. All right. Well, that is then everything that I have for you today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. I am sure that I will be back again at some point this week, either tomorrow or uh, Friday. To do more great things with the Stick and Stamp Match, show you more techniques, show you different ways that you can use it because there are so many different cool things that you can do uh, with this mat. And um, yeah, so thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Remember to create something every single day, whether that is something with your Stick and Stamp Matte and brand new Stick and Stamp Matte Pigment Palette or your own ending. I love you all so very much and I can't wait until we get to craft together again. Goodbye, my friends. Have a great afternoon.